Texas A&M fell behind early at the Texas Bowl last night against Oklahoma State. While the Aggies made it interesting after a strong second half performance, the Cowboys came out with a 31-23 win. Six Sports reporter Ben Peck joins us to recap the game from Houston. Texas A&M was already challenged from a depth perspective going into this game, and it immediately got a lot worse on the very first play from scrimmage. Jalen Henderson, already the third-string quarterback, going out with an arm injury. It looked like a broken arm with an air cast. He did not return to the game. In his place, an admirable effort from true freshman Marcel Reed. Had over 360 yards passing and was a Hail Mary away from sending this game potentially into overtime for Texas A&M. To go out there and, and not just, you know, be out there, but competing, getting us back into a game, coming in and leading what could have been a, a second half game winning or game time drive to push it to overtime. I mean, that, that's just a representation of, of Marcel's character and, and, you know, the readiness that he always has going into every single week. Um, that kid's a fighter. The biggest thing I thought that he can learn from, from this is he doesn't have to win the game for us on just one play. He can just stick to the process. And I think sometimes where he thought he had to make a play, and our guys did a great job talking to him on the sideline, settling him down. So I thought he moved the ball well early, later in the game. I'll tell you what, I'm proud of that team in that locker room. I'm proud of those guys that stuck it through. Um, a lot of people talked about the guys that weren't here this whole time as we were preparing for the bowl game. Nobody talked about the guys that weren't here enough. And I'll tell you what, that's a resilient group. They fought for a team to go down 24-6, knowing they was going to a transition here in the next day or so. They came back out in the second half and they fought their tails off. And after this Texas Bowl, more departures in line for Texas A&M, most notably in the coaching staff, interim head coach Elijah Robinson, heading up to my alma mater to take over as the defensive coordinator for Syracuse. Some seniors graduating as well. We'll see if any other players decide to hop in the portal after this game or if things settle down for the Aggies. Of course, the 12th man hoping much brighter days are ahead in 2024 and beyond with new head coach Mike Elko. Reporting here from the Texas Bowl in Houston for Six Sports, I'm Ben Peck.